so well friends in today's class we are to discuss in detail about the aims of education by considering the significance of pragmatism which is one of the most important branches of western philosophy means from the standpoint of pragmatism what should be the aims of education we are to discuss here in this class today let us start education as all of you have understood so much well is a social process and the prime concern of the process of education is development of all human attributes which are genetically transmitted from one generation to the next one so as to help every individual become fit to face life as well as live in society as for the de sense demand or demands of social life education should fulfill the demands of individual life on the social life means the demands of individual life as well as the demands of social life these two demands do have special importance at the time of considering the aims of education education is to be based on experience of life because pragmatism emphasizes on experimentalism it emphasizes on scientific knowledge it emphasizes on instrumentalism it does not believe in static you see values from dewey's perceptions who is one of the most important exponents of the pragmatic school of philosophy education must be conceived of as a continuing reconstruction of experience whose process and goal are one and the same means do at the time of explaining the concept of education explained education is the process with the help of which reconstruction and reconstitution of experiences of life of the individuals are possible and why to reconstruct and reconstitute our experiences if we put a question to each other then we find or we see that our demands demands of our life are changing as for the change of time and the demands of society also change as for the change influence of time and that's why education is to help every individual to reconstitute and reconstruct experiences so that every individual become fit to face life perfectly scientifically and contribute their share you see for the uplift of social life let us see the next one or in other words education is of experience by experience and for experience see this one is education is of experience we acquire education with the help of experience we acquire education by experience and we gather education or we try to get new education new perceptions new experiences for the reconstruction and reconstitution of experience or experiences the educational process has no end beyond itself it is its own and since in reality there is nothing to which growth is relative save more growth there is nothing to which education is subordinate save more education the aim of education therefore is more education more education more education let us see the next does or this way this the aims of education are mainly concerned with the satisfaction 
of the demands of life, society, culture, and civilization. Pragmatism emphasizes on the development of life-oriented knowledge according to the requirements of society. Let us see the next. And this way, by explaining about the demand of education and the basic aims of education, pragmatism has, you see, explained about the aims of education by considering all these important segments or points. Point number one, aims of education should not be very static. Aims should be dynamic and should be determined according to the demands of life, society, and sensing situations. Number two, the aim of education should not be predetermined. Aims should be determined according to the demands of life and society. Means at the time of assessing about or at the time of determination of the aim of education, the demands of life as well as the demands of society are to be scientifically considered. Let us see the next three. Life should be treated as a laboratory of experimentation for more practical experiences. Education should be for more education. Number four, education should aim at the creation of new values of life. Number fifth, education should aim at continuous reconstruction of experiences. Number six, education should be the means of adjustment with the problems of life and society. Number seven, education should emphasize on the harmonious development of personality. Means the development of holistic personality is one of the most important concerns of the process of education. So from the standpoint of pragmatism, when we are to explain about the meaning of education and the aims and objectives of the process of education, we are bound to say that pragmatism specifically put importance, pragmatism specifically puts importance on the demands of life as well as demands of society and all other elements of human lives and human life as well as human society. It's a process with the help of which all the human attributes which are being genetically transmitted are developed so as to help every individual become fit to face life problems at the same time to contribute, you see, towards the growth of society and advancement of civilization. And education never can be a static process with the changes of time and our the demands of our life also change as well as the demands of social life and society also change and because of that to cope with the changed situations of life and society education is to develop all human attributes so much well or scientifically so that everybody can live life quite practically without facing much problem at the time of solving various problems of life as well as contributing towards the growth of society friends so this much about the aims of education particularly from the standpoint of the philosophy of pragmatism you see all these and by considering all the seven points you can write much more you see if you see all the terms which have been used in each of the points in our discussion thank you so much